dragon. It was a fearful fight. He blew out smoke and flames all day and glowed bright red at night. His favorite food was people. He had them served on rice and kindergarten children too, which wasn't very nice. Which wasn't very nice. Which wasn't very nice. And kindergarten children too, which wasn't very nice. The people of the village did not like this one bit. They sent the mayor to go up there to ask him, please, to quit. The dragon listened quietly to what the mayor said. He answered him politely and then bit off his head. And then bit off his head. And then bit off his head. He answered him politely and then bit off his head. This caused the village people much sadness and alarm. They said, oh dear, we sadly fear we all shall come to harm. Then up into the village. Wondrous to behold, a knight in shining armor, a dragon killer bold. A dragon killer bold. A dragon killer bold. A knight in shining armor. A dragon killer bold. It were Fred, the dragon catcher, all dressed in shining tin from toe to head with a great big net to catch his dragons in. I'll show you a great big lizard, a lesson he won't forget. He won't eat no kindergarten kids when I've got him in my net. When I've got him in my net. When I've got him in my net, he won't eat no kindergarten kids when I've got him in my net. Fred rode up to the dragon. He waved his trusty sword. He did a headstand on his horse and upside down he roared. We've had enough, you meanie. I've heard the things you did. <laughs> Why don't you eat zucchini and beans? And beans instead of kids. And beans instead of kids. Why don't you eat zucchini? And beans instead of kids. The dragon took a look at Fred with his great big bull's eyes. And then he turned his tail and ran. It was a big surprise. Must have been the armor, said Fred. Please understand. Dragons like their people fresh. They never eat them canned. They never eat them canned. They never eat them canned. Dragons like their people fresh. They never eat them canned. Shit.